Hello and welcome back to Rambo SMP. Welcome back to the server. Um, well, that's new. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I did see this in End of Us video, but this is looking even cooler in person. He has completely transformed this place here. Oh, wow. So yeah, we actually do have a plan here. We do have a plan of, well, as you can see, Endeva has gone completely mad and laid out the roads here and, oh, wow. I love this. <laughs> I absolutely love this. But yeah, we do have a plan of connecting our roads up to spawn and basically transform this entire place and have it as one big wheat field. We think that that would look really, really cool. So that is a plan. And also, I don't know if you've seen this, but Amradon has been busy constructing this tavern. Now, you may remember that there's a box, that there used to be a boxing arena right over here. Well, I do believe that somewhere... Yep. It may or may not be underneath the tavern. But shush, no, no one is supposed to know. And I don't know if I got to show you this either, but... Endavar has also been busy and made the community storage room right here at spawn. Oh wow, and they have been given labels. Alright, I will definitely be coming back to this later in the episode to fill up some of these chests because I have a lot of blocks that I don't need. Now that's not the only new thing here on Ramble SMP. We have gotten two new members. We got Raven and we got Legend Craft. And Raven here has actually settled between Endavar and myself here. So we have a brand new neighbor. Oh. Hello. Here we see a wild raven constructing some sort of water elevator. Very intriguing. But yeah, so Raven and Legendcraft joined the server recently, so a big welcome to them. Definitely check them out. Links to the channels down below in the description. I believe Raven's plan is to do some steampunk style stuff here, which is looking really interesting. So yeah, there might be some competition between him and Endavar. We'll have to see how this goes. But we actually also have another neighbor here as the sun sets, right behind this mountain, but I can't show you. I, I can't show you stuff because he's doing some bigger projects, but I'll show that when I can. But yeah, he is our neighbor as well. Eh? Okay, I can't, I can't show you past that point. Very, very, very secret stuff happening over there. <laughs> that, that's all you gotta get. That, that's all you gotta get. Some yellow wool over there. That's all you're getting. Well, I guess we should... Oh, Sulky Shulkers is out of Shulkers. Our netherite is sold again. We have actually sold some glow item frames. And that's it. Not a bad sales day. I did actually give Legendcraft a uh, welcoming gift, but I unfortunately didn't record that. But I gave him some diamond gear and diamond armor to get him started. And I'm pretty sure Endavar and Amradon got Raven set up. So yeah, just so they don't start from complete scratch. But now, I think since Endavar has been so busy doing all these paths and whatnot, I think it's only fair that I finally finish off this road right here. I need to make it over, move it down, then over, and then connect it up to Endavar's path right here. Something along those lines. So I think that that should probably be the first thing that we do. So for that I'm gonna need some gravel and decide. I'm trying to remember what exactly I've been using for these roads. Horse dirt and spruce logs. That's an issue. Not a big issue, but an issue nonetheless. Also the fact that I'm running out of food all the time. The entire season I have been going off of this one potato farm, which honestly is kind of impressive, but I could do with something a little bit more efficient. Might look into that in the future. Wow, that cooks. Tree chopping time. All right, I finally have the materials that I need to finally complete this road. Well, at least this end of the road. One might say we have reached the end of the road. Yeah, no, okay. But as the sun is rising behind end of us fleet, I think we should get straight to work. Let's begin.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Beanville. Wait a minute. <sighs> I'll fix that later. Anyways, if we ignore that blooper real quick, this is the result and I'm actually pretty happy with this path. So it leads up all the way up here, takes a turn. I'm actually really happy with how I managed this turn. Um, leading up here and then, of course, onwards to the rest of the town or the village. I guess it's a village or a town. I, I guess both work. But yeah, I really like this. I also, on the sides here, I decided to add some leaves with some calcite behind it and some light, which I think will look really, really cool in the dark. So yeah, I added that and I also added a bunch of trees here on my uh, potted lamps all the way around here to spice things up a bit. I definitely need to improve this this area because this just does not look welcoming at all Nor does that up there, but that is for another time. I think I'm pretty happy with this so far So I'm going to leave it here for now But now with this end of the road finally completed Amradon, Endavara, Spirit and myself decided to take on a couple of Ender Dragons And honestly some of the fighting clips that I got I'm quite happy with them What? Oh. How did how did I'm that? I'm so okay. sorry. I'm how so did that sorry. kill me? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I shot it. That wasn't you, Spirit. I shot it myself. No, I, I shot it. I shot it. I definitely shot it there. I saw my arrow go straight toward it. Oh my lord. What? Oh yeah, that happened. And that was totally not the reason why I was hiding the F1 screen on this clip. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Okay, before we spawn in the next one, wait for me, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just gonna shut up. I went down to one heart. <laughs> Being too close to it. <laughs> oh dear, nope. Mm -mm. That one looked close. <laughs> How much damage did you take that? Too much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was right behind you. That, that doesn't look good. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't. Wait, how is this gonna look with Jadis on? Probably really difficult to see. Oh no, so much better. The fog is completely gone. I can see everything clearly. Whoa! Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, binary skull kill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now several weeks later, Amradon, Intervara and myself got together and we decided to start our Netherhub project. I have some time-lapse footage for that. I'm gonna roll it now and then I'm gonna sit through the portal and you're gonna see what we have done so far. And I'm gonna clue you in on some, some of our...
plans. Maybe. Some of them. Maybe. Roll the footage. So moving through the portal here, my portal is now right here in this red square. Just ignore that. But this, as you can see, is the area of which we added a bunch of cobblestone slabs. Honestly, it didn't take as long as I expected, but we were three people, so yeah. Now, if I just head back over to my portal, as you can see, there's a huge chunk missing here in the ceiling, leading all the way up out to the bedrock ceiling. And if I go even further over here, we have some markers and some tunnels going in certain, uh, there we go, in certain directions. I might as well just spill the beans. Mm. We need to dig out a 200 by 200 by 60 block cube. Yeah, yikes. So if we do the math, so 200 times 200 times 60 is basically 2,400,000 thousand blocks yeah while i do say 2.4 million blocks it's not quite that because we do have quite a bit of empty space well um over here <laughs> it's mainly this that's going to be an issue but yeah roughly around the two million block mark the good thing is though another rack is pretty easy to break, at least when you have a pickaxe of the speed. So I'm sure eventually we'll get this done. Now as for our actual plan here, we are going to move our portals down to this level. We have Ledger's portal over there, we got, I believe the spawn portal, we got... Uh, kids portal over there, we got my portal, we got End of Us portal, sorry we have End of Us portal over there, then we have Hocus's portal over there. So basically we're going to move all the portals down here and we're going to have a structure here housing all of the portals. But yeah, long story short, we have a pretty good idea of what we want to do now. We just need to get rid of, well, all of this. <laughs> now what's this? Oh, that's Amadron's portal. And then the stronghold. Yeah, we, we, we won't talk about this. At all. Now speaking of portals, there is one issue with my portal, and that is it's not quite linked right. Yeah. I end up in Raven space. <laughs> Raven? Raven? I'm, I'm, now I'm doubting if I'm pronouncing the name right. Speaking about Raven, he has made a shop, and a shop that I'm very excited about. Pretty sure he calls it the grinder, and it's basically selling all the grindy blocks. So things like sand, gravel, oxidized copper, TNT, TNT, glass, deep slate as well. But TNT, 16 per diamond, I think is the price. And well, that could speed up my netherite game in my shop. Plus TNT is fun. So 16 a diamond, I think that's the price. I'm gonna do some investing here. I'm basically selling one netherite ingot for one block of diamonds. So if I use one block of diamond here to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine diamonds, that's two stacks and 16 TNT. But what I wanna do now is fly a little bit in some sort of this direction. This should be good. Dig down to Y level 20-ish. Oh, well done. <laughs> that was unexpected. We won't count those in the test, okay? <laughs> that would be, <laughs> okay. It would appear I've hit someone's branch. Um, hmm. You know what, I'm not gonna interfere with that. I was never here. I've come to the conclusion that this place sucks. This was just gonna be a quick little experiment, but it's proven more difficult than I had thought. I'm sure this spot will be better. 
Hmm. I do believe I recognize this. Interesting. I do believe that this is one of my older tunnels. Alright, so this is Basalt Delta, so I'll just start placing now every other block-ish. What on? Where did you guys come from? Well, you're not... Okay, okay, you guys are actually getting in the way now. This is a problem. Actually, you, no. Mm. Actually, yeah, go all the way over there. Go all the way over there. Yep, yep, perfect. Out of my way. That's one stack down. Are you kidding me? I'm just making tunnels here. <laughs> That's another three. Wow. Okay, then. Um, right, I'm gonna make another tunnel here because I need to use all 25... Like I was saying, I'll need, I need to use all 25 <laughs> TNT. I already have two netherite ingots from this. I haven't even used the TNT yet. I'm not sure if this is good or if this is bad, but here we go. All right, we're here. Um, I just realized I won't be able to run very far, but... Uh, ooh, that's got to be close, isn't it? Sure. Let's do this. Get up. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Yikes. Okay, I think the explosion stopped. Okay. Why are you angry at me? Well, I see some ancient debris, so not a complete fail. Well, I'm gonna go through this tunnel here. Gonna gather up ancient debris. We're gonna take away eight because those don't count from this, and we'll see how much ancient debris we actually get managed to get from this. I'm actually very excited to see the result. That's five pieces so far, so already the nine diamonds that we spent has already paid off. Oh wow. Yep. I thought the TNT didn't do all of its job. Yoink. And stand back and enjoy the show. Oh. Oh, it was at the end anyway. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well that was one row. Double check the paths again when I'm going back out. But so far, I am very pleased. Alright, well here's my staircase and here's the other tunnel that apparently didn't quite finish getting blown up. But we can change that. Eh. Oh dear. And I think that is our final piece of ancient debris from this trip. So from this trip in total, we got 18. Now, if we subtract the eight that we got just from making the tunnels, nine diamonds gave us 10 ancient debris, which if we sell that, will yield over two blocks of diamonds. Did I say stacks? I meant blocks. So basically, is it worth it? Is it a good investment? I'd say yes. It's either that or me mining for quite a long time in a 2x2 two two tunnel, which this, the chance of hitting something is a whole lot higher. Where on earth is my, that is. What? I already have, huh. I didn't know I already had ancient debris and ancient scrap in there. Okay. All right, 27 pieces of netherite scrap turns into six ingots. Six netherite ingots, that's not too bad. Six netherite ingots. That's definitely enough to stock up the shop. One, two, three, four. I have three options with the remaining netherite ingots. One, store them and save them for when that barrel behind me is sold out again. Or two, just put them in. <laughs> or three, use it for my own stuff. You see, I could upgrade my armor and my weapons to, well, be a little bit more powerful. But I've been in diamond for this long now, plus it fits, it, it, it matches the color in my eyes. And everything of my skin, I mean, right? I don't know if I want to go away from diamond. You know, it, it's, diamond used to be the OP thing in Minecraft. Now it's replaced with this weird, rusty, titan, ti titan, titanic key 
Titanic. Titanium brown boring material that doesn't look that cool. Looks like some sort of old rusty orc armor from the Lord of the Rings. Which having the stats is cool, but I'm not ready to uh, to join the Netherite Club. At least not yet. Now I do realize that this episode is getting kinda long, but there is one project that I really do want to finish, and that is this underground base area. So what I've done is I have blocked off the rest of the cave, and now it's not going to stay like this, because there's actually going to be stuff here. So here, that is going to be the train station. Over here, I want to eventually have a super smelter. And then over here, I want to have a fuel generator for the super smelter. How that's going to work, I'm not sure. That's a problem for later me. But yeah, so that's kind of the layout over here. So yeah, these walls, like I said, they're not, they're only temporary. But the main thing that I need to finish is this long tunnel. And also the ceiling, because there's a mine shaft up there. And yeah, it's... It's just not safe at the moment. Now, because we are running short on video time here, it's not exactly going to be a time lapse, more like a montage kind of thing. You'll see. And with that, I think I'm happy with how this has turned out. So, the roof has been done, the pillars has been decorated, and the walls especially has been decorated throughout this tunnel, leading down, of course, to the Amethyst Chamber, which, who knows, might become a hub for something else in the future. Who knows, I mean, we could, we could add a doorway over there, over there, over there, I don't know. There's plenty of possibilities, but for now, this is what it serves as, and I'm pretty happy with it. So the whole way, it has a ceiling, it now has a floor, same design as all the way back at the beginning. However, in the walls, I decided to add some bars behind some spruce fences, just to add some texture and some greenness to the place. And actually, I'm really happy with this. I need to add some light over here, but we won't talk about that. Now, this part of the project is done. However, I'm not fully done over here. As you can see, I still need to do the beacon room, and I also definitely need to do this uh, staircase here because, yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. <laughs> but for now, it serves its purpose. Now, we are certainly running out of video time for today, but I do want to let you in on a little bit of a secret that will be relevant for the next episode. But first, I need to grab some baked potatoes before I die. And the word die is actually really relevant for what we're going to be doing in the next episode. You see, during that end fight, I managed to die. And if you don't know, basically, we have upgraded to 1.19, which of course means Deep Dark, Ancient Cities, and of course, The Warden, which means 
more death. Now, I thought that that would be a good opportunity to make something that I've never tried making before. And that would be utilizing this beautiful ocean that we have right behind our base here to making a totem farm. I've never made one before, but that's why I also want to try and make one to see how it's actually going to go. It could go really wrong or it could go really well. We'll find out in the next episode. Unless, of course, there's any change of plans, but I don't think there will be. But yeah, that's going to be, at least for now, the plan for the next episode. I want to make a totem farm, which, of course, means we will then be able to make a totem shop. Like I said, we're in 1.19, the warden and whatnot. I can imagine people would want some totems for when fighting the warden or visiting the deep dark because, well, that guy is scary. Of course, we also have other projects such as the nether project and also, oh yeah, this. I guess I should do my part and add some fields in my area and do the paths and yep, stuff like that. Be here food also. Yep, a better food source would be ideal as well. So yep, that's on the table as well. Basically, we have a lot of things we need to do. But like I said, we are unfortunately out of video time for today. So I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. And if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, be sure to check out the other ramblers down below in the description, especially our brand new members, Fletchercraft and Raven. Links down below in the description. In fact, we just got a brand new website, which if you wish to check that out, link down below in the description as well, together with a link to our Ramble SAP community Discord server. Join it. But like I said, that's gonna be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you. Wait, hold on. I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.